Hey, it's Chris Byrne, and coming this week, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra opens nationwide. Now, I've had a chance to see the movie, and it is a real thrill ride. You're going to want to see it. But earlier this year, I had a chance to sit down with all of the, the cast and the director and hear their views on the film, and I actually was the first person to show them their very own action figures. You're going to want to check this out. Tell me about bringing this iconic American character to life. Uh, well, for me, it was just, it was all the characters. It, I just like felt, as soon as I realized that you had a, well, first of all, I, originally you could, it was an army man, so it was only a man. There was no women involved, and I thought, I, I love doing movies with romance. Right. So as soon as I realized, I learned all about uh, Scarlet and uh, the Baroness, that there's right. two smart, strong women, and, and I thought, oh, I can have two romances, a comic romance and a tragic romance, and then, oh, it's got these great ninjas. Oh, I love that, the two best ninjas and the greatest ninjas in the world, and then you've got Duke and Ripcord and, and Hawk. You've got just such a, such, so many fantastic characters. That's what really drew me in. And then after the characters, we got to shoot all over the world. It takes place all, you know, in Washington, D.C., Tokyo, Paris, Egypt, the polar ice cap, the bottom of the ocean, uh, you know, and then we've got vehicles and gadgets and to me as a filmmaker it was wildly visually stunning piece of work so uh, that's, that's what great. I'm excited about. It. So as a great big kid uh, what, what excited you about playing with all of this stuff? Was there anything that just made you go oh wow I really wish I had that in real life? No, well there's, everything has that. <laughs> I mean a lot of stuff uh, like I said I wrote there's a I wrote a script called Accelerator mm -hmm. that, that it's about the suit that you put on and, and you can, you can run 40 to 60 miles an hour right. in it. And, the, and I wrote that 10 years ago and never sold it. And I always liked that idea. And I had this another idea about these mole pods, that if you had to get somewhere under the, the earth, these, m these mole pods would get you there. And so I took all these like kind of ideas I had and all these ideas that were in all the G.I. Joe comic books and, uh, and all the cartoons and, and stirred it up a little bit. And That's turned great. Out well. Now, when you were a kid, what did you love to play with? Uh, you know, I have imagination when I, that I, I didn't really need anything. Uh -huh. It's like I've, I flew to uh, London last year with, or two years ago with my daughter, and she was, I think, nine at the time, and all she needed is a couple of pepper, salt and pepper shakers, and she could visually just do whatever, you know, it's all, it's all in here. I don't need much. I, I completely agree, and it, it starts here. I mean, that's where play happens. So. Oh, no, no, even if you have the, the characters, you have to have imagination. Right, that's great. What would you like kids to take away from this as they, as they you know, look about playing, sort of preparing them to take on a role in the world? What would you like them to, to take away from this movie in particular? Oh, uh, I think it's, it's going to, I think they're going to take away, uh, hopefully they'll just walk out with a big smile. Uh -huh. and, uh, and it's a bit of fair play. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I think there's, there's honor, the, the themes of honor and, and, and uh, and knowledge run through the, I don't know, it's just a fun movie. That's great. And I'm particularly interested in the female characters, as you mentioned, because, you know, the, uh, Scarlet is not a girly girl. I mean, she's the brains and the beauty in, yeah. in this movie. What do you think that says to little girls about oh, doing no, what they're Oh, no, it's great. We've, we've shown it to a couple thousand people now, and audiences seem to really love the movie. They're laughing and they're cheering. I was really surprised how often they cheer in the movie. But girl, we found girls and women are testing it as high and or liking it as much or more than boys and men. And it's because of Scarlet and because of uh, the Baroness. They're two very smart, strong women. That's and so, yeah, they're not, they're not pushovers. That's great. And we also did, we did a survey of kids around the country recently, and a lot of them said that they wanted to be in the military. Anything in this movie that's going to inspire them into the action-adventure of that? Oh, sure. I mean, it's just like, these are the best of the best. So if you want to watch the best of the best doing what they do best, <laughs> watch G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra is coming from Paramount, opening on August 7th.